talked about this a lot, but there are days the offense isn't there, and you guys were a little sloppy offensively, but you forced twice as many turnovers as you made, and the rebounding was better. Those elements kind of created some points for you. Uh, was that, you know, is that kind of a, a theme, why that theme of his is important? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, you look at college basketball, but overall, Purdue just, you know, offense is not there as long as you're still playing defense and you're getting stops. That scoreboard never changes. So, I mean, offense eventually will fall because you have good players and good offensive systems. So, we'll end up getting points to come. But as long as that scoreboard doesn't change, we don't put ourselves in a hole and we don't have to start panicking. Kelsey, you, uh, it was that stretch there at the end of the half where you guys were able to create separation. I think you had eight or ten straight points. Uh, are there times when you just can can take the game over like that? I mean, do you feel like you have the potential to do that? Um, I just took what the defense gave me. I was pretty open on those two threes. They're kind of laying back. And then I had a steal and I think an easy layup. So this kind of came to the flow of the game. But I'm sure that'll happen more often than that. Your three, your three ball looks a lot more comfortable than it did last year. Have you spent a lot of time in the gym shooting the ball? Uh, yeah, I, just, I spend a lot of time in the summer, you know, getting a lot more shots up than I have in the past, just trying to get a better feel for the ball and a little bit more on my rhythm. Sandy, the def or the rebounding was, was better today. I'm sure it's still not what he wants it to be, but better. Donnie came in, gave you good. You had some good attacking. Uh, was it better today? And that was an emphasis this week, wasn't it? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we just that just effort. We just got get aggressive. I mean, we were pretty aggressive though, but we just gotta keep going the glass. Cause if you don't go, obviously not gonna get it. So just gotta keep going with the team. And but it was better. We went the right direction. Lou, um, Matt always talks about getting offense off your defense. It seemed like you guys did this in this game a lot more than you did in the first game. That's something that's pretty important because you kind of find more offense this year. Definitely, uh, that's a spark plug. I mean, Kelsey gets that steal, he gets a dunk. Crowd gets a little bit more excited. Obviously, the team gets excited, and then that makes the next guy want to go out there and get a steal. That's just like when Rob got that assist and Sonny dunks it, then Kelsey gets another steal and dunks it. It's just a huge momentum factor. So as long as we can get steals like that, it just kind of excites the crowd and it excites us as a team. Uh, Kelsey, um, it was something with uh, Southern Indiana's guards, were they just kind of a step slow for you guys, or was, there just, was the height advantage, or what was it? It seems like you guys seem to figure out what to do, especially you yourself there late in the first half. Um, defensively, they try to press you. So, I mean, it's, it's easier to get past people when they're up on you, rather than if they lay back and you have to, like, go to them and then we go them for shots. They're kind of up on you, but not, like, we, we pressure each other harder in practice, so I think we're more comfortable than in this game than we are in practice, so I felt a little bit easier. Kelsey, just being one of the older statesmen now on this team, what has Coach told you about just your leadership role on and off the floor? Uh, I think it's just, you know, have to set the example for the younger guys as far as, you know, them being able to look at someone and do it and follow your footsteps is the right way. So on the, the reverse, I guess, the, the reverse layup, can you talk about that and, and the dunk? You seem pretty pumped. Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> reverse layup, I, I'm sure Coach Bear didn't like it. <laughs> Even hate him, that might move. But <laughs> it works pretty well, though. <laughs> no, we're not going to tell him that. But, well, we won't yeah, tell him that. Yeah, I'll trust you. But, <laughs> no, I was pretty, yeah, I was pretty excited. That kind of gave me momentum. Cause obviously, uh, I didn't get much playing time last year, so trying to get experience. And I was kind of nervous in the first half, so that gave me a huge momentum to just keep going. Hey, Lewis, uh, I know about like five, five minutes up in the first half, you hit a layup and it looked like you were hobbling, walking back to the sideline. Did you re-injure your foot then? I know you came back, but uh, what's the what's status of that right now? Well, I'm just old, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, when I landed, it, just, it was like kind of went dead. Like, I mean, the bottom of my foot, I was just hurting. And I got like kind of knee in my uh, knee by Jacob Lawson in practice the other day, so that's kind of been bothering me. It just, it just was hurting right then. But, I mean, we went in the locker room. Kind of gave it some heat and got a little bit looser, so I was okay to go back out there. Lewis, um, take me back to the very, very first time you saw Sandy on the court 
whether you were on the court with him as a teammate at practice, whatever, what you thought of him as a player that very first day compared to what you just saw today from Santi and how much he's improved? First, the first time I seen Santi, I mean, first you just get impressed by his body. I mean, you know, not, not in a manly way. No. <laughs> like, God, this is like this guy can, you know, he can really be good. And at first you can tell the speed of the game, obviously kind of, it kind of bothered him. And, you know, we learned that he didn't actually start playing basketball until about 15. So then as a basketball player, you kind of understand his development and seeing him then kind of being nervous and didn't really want to make moves. And just not being physical with his body, it's just like this guy really realized what he has in front of him. He has so much potential, and now you see him dunking on people, getting rebounds, making good post-up moves. It's just exciting because he's still developing. This is actually his first really full year he's going to play. So I'm just, I've been amazed, and I, I just want to keep seeing the progression while I'm here with him. Well, thank you, Lou. No problem, son. All right, <laughs> 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 <laughs>